Close your eyes and find your breath. Where do you feel the breath right now as you breathe in, as you breathe out? You can try some long breathing, deep breathing, and notice where the breath is most prominent in the body. Focus your attention there. And then the next question is, is it comfortable? If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change. You can make it faster, slower, heavier, lighter, even deeper, more shallow. Try to see what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. Because you're going to need the breath as your friend as we practice the Dharma. There are times we have to do things that are difficult. This is where we bring in the element of the perfection of endurance, patience. It's not the case that it's going to be easy. We're not just relaxing our way to nirvana. It's going to take work. John Lee's image is of taking seawater. And there is fresh water in the seawater, but just letting it sit there in a bowl is not going to get the salt out. You have to boil it. You have to put it through a distillery. In other words, it's going to require effort. And there are going to be things that you have to put up with. It's not going to be easy all the time. But you will get your fresh water. In the meantime, though, you have to learn how to talk to yourself so that you can stick with the practice. As the Buddha points out, there are four types of action in the world. Things that are going to give you good results and the things you like to do. Things that give bad results and you don't like to do them. Those are easy. It doesn't take much effort. The ones that are not easy are the ones where you like to do something, but you know it's going to lead to long-term harm. Or there's something you don't like to do, but it will lead to long-term well-being. So in those cases, you have to learn how to talk to yourself so you can increase your endurance. Talk to yourself in a way that gives you encouragement. And at the same time, learn how to use the breath as your friend. Because you can breathe easily, you can breathe comfortably, no matter what the situation is. So take advantage of that. It makes it a lot easier to put up with, with difficulties, put up with problems. If you focus on how hard something is, how much longer it's going to take, you begin to run out of energy. But if you learn how to focus on one step at a time, and focus on the things that are good, things that are easy in the meantime, things that are pleasant, energizing, then you find that you do have the energy. You have this potential for energy in the body and in the mind. And for the most part, we don't make use of it. We get a little bit tired, a little bit discouraged, and we give up. If that's our attitude, then we're not going to get anywhere. Because this is a journey. The Buddha says it is a path. Now the path is a path into the mind. It doesn't go far, but it does require time and it takes effort. You're getting more and more settled right in here. So learn to find what you have right here that gives you energy, that gives you strength, so that you develop your endurance, so you can face difficult tasks. And they seem easy. Easy tasks seem like nothing at all. That's the attitude you should have, because this is a worthwhile path. It requires effort, but the effort is going to be more than repaid. So keep yourself confident in that direction and learn how to take advantage of the strengths that you do have. That way your endurance becomes stronger, more lasting. And you can be patient about things that you didn't think you could be patient about. Patient doesn't mean just sitting around waiting. It means realizing that some activities take time. You do them again, and you do them again, and you do them again. As the John say, don't count the number of times you've meditated. Don't count the number of times you've gotten past a particular defilement only to find it come back again. Just keep at it, keep at it, because eventually it will wear the defilements down. And you will gain some insights as you do these things again and again. It's like following a route through a city. If you go on the same route every day, every day, you begin to notice things. If you just think about how boring it is to follow the same route, you're not going to see anything. But if you realize there's a lot to see along the way, so each time you go past, try to notice something new. And you find that there are a lot of things to notice inside. In other words, learn how to encourage yourself. Give yourself strength. And it's very simple. All you have to do is learn how to talk to yourself in the right way, and learn how to breathe in the right way. And you find that your powers of endurance will increase.